strangest thing It's shorter than you think What's going on guys? So got back from Hawaii, as you can tell, back BC, rainy, cold, uh, 50 degrees outside now and it's going to start getting cold uh, at night time. So freezing temperatures at night, but uh, as you can see, as of October 1st in BC, you're required to have winter. So summer tires are off and stocks are back on with the winters, uh, studded tires back on. So she's back to stock besides the air suspension. But today, uh, since summer's over, smoke is gone, I'm gonna change the cabin air filters on the car. So I'll show you guys that, walk you through that steps, and uh, get those changed because of all the smoke we've had this summer with all the forest fires. I figured now's a good time to get those changed out and fresh for the winter and then uh, next spring, summer. So uh, check it out, we'll go through the steps. I'll show you what I got. Let me flip it around. So I bought this kit, it's a Taptis Tesla Model 3, Model Y, uh, cabin air filter kit. So it comes with your little removal tool and your T20 Torx driver. I'm just gonna use my little ratchet and a T20 Torx from the kit. And then yeah, you both your air filters are here. They do have a charcoal, inside open them up so the little charcoals inside and then your filters so we'll get those replaced i think these were pretty cheap they're uh good uh, reviews on them i'll put the link below as well but yeah we'll try those out and get those in but i'll walk you through uh installing removing your old one and installing so basically you zoom out a little bit so basically remove this bottom panel here, this is the plastic panel. So you can take out your, your clips. Pull those out. There's two, so one here, one there, one right next to that. There's four total, should be four total. My car they only installed three because I'm missing one on this side, but I have one, two, three, and then you can pry this, pop this panel off. So if you see my last video is the hand show install kit, it's the same exact procedure to get that panel off. And then you remove your light cable for your LED light and your cable for your speaker as well. Just so to be able to get that out of the way. So it's out. Go. Then you can remove your side panel cover here. Just just held on by clips. So just grab onto it, pull it off, undo it. Get that out of the way. And I also just uh, as up for you guys, I did move my solid state relay for my air ride suspension control to the front up here instead of having it tucked back in the back like you've seen before underneath my rear vents just give myself a little more room easier to work with because i did run a cable from directly to the battery out to here so this cable here comes directly from the battery into my solid state relay that i have tucked in there but that could be for a different video a different time um so yeah once you get that cover sorry my hand out of the way once you get that cover removed, it's this plate right here, this panel. You'll want to get that off. And again, it's a T20 Torx. That kit comes with the Allen wrench with the T20 Torx already on it, like I said. But I will use my ratchet instead. Make life easier. Just remove this screw. So from the videos I watched previously of the 2020 and older vehicles, this screw was actually at the top and harder to get to. So I'm hoping that Tesla did fix it, which it looks like they did. So there it goes, the bottom screw, once that comes off, this 
piece comes right out. So Tesla made it easier for the 2021 model. Sorry, it battery died, but Tesla made it easier to get the plate off. So they put the screw at the bottom instead of at the top, like on the previous models. And that once that plate, once you get that screw off, the plate comes right off. So super simple. We'll pull this out. Let's see what we got. So yeah, that filter. Again, my car has uh, 17,000 kilometers on it now. So quite a bit, a lot of mileage, but you can see how filthy and dusty it is just because we had some crazy days of smoke and forest fires. So I figured that these were gonna be pretty filthy uh, in the car. Let's see if I can get this other one out. Yeah, the other one, same thing. Disgustingly dirty, dusty, nasty. Which I figured it would be just because of all the smoke so yeah those are the two helpful goes out of the car again bottom screw off i'll just show you what the plate looks like so but plate goes back on this way take the screw off here at the bottom and plate will come off and that's what you'll leave so basically back to reverse order it actually tells you uh air inlet side so this side will go to the front of the car and your your uh, charcoal will go to the rear of the car. So, let's see if I can do this. Get that in. Push it down. Here's your leave this little tab out. Make sure this tab is facing you, so that way when you go to change it again, you can actually remove it easily. So first one's in. Second filter. Same thing. So this will be the inlet side, so the front of the car, and your charcoal filter will be to the rear of the car. This one just stacks right on top of that second one. So the second one, get it in, push it down. And the second one, goes right on top. It's in, make sure they're both in. Again, your red tabs are out, so you can remove the filter at a later date if you need to, or when you need to, not if, but when. So yeah, both filters are in. I'm not gonna spray any kind of cabin cleaner in there because I didn't have any smells or anything like that. I just figured I would change them because of the smoke we had this year with the forest fires. And as you've seen, it definitely needed it. So yep, back in and then reverse order. Plastic cover back on. There's actually, there, let's take this off. There's actually that little clip. You can see it there. So this will go in first, and then it'll slide in that way. So put it in first. All right. There you go. First, and then that will stay up there like that. Put your screw back in. all there is to it you're done reverse order just put your uh your side cover back on clip all that back in place i'll show you that and then your bottom cover with your speaker and led light will also go into place but just remember my previous videos there's this uh tab right here and there if you look underneath there's a piece that actually sticks out my finger there it is that piece right there so that will slide in this will slide into that and then you fold it up and then put your clips in so just uh, that's it so pretty quick easy job to do for something that uh not many people always do is cabin air filter replacements i know if you go over get your oil changed in a in your gas vehicles they always recommend replacing your cabin filters nobody usually does it because those are actually other cars they're gas cars they're usually behind the glove box 
but Tesla is behind the center console. So this is for 2021 up, uh, Model 3, Model Y. Uh, the 2020 and older's, the screw is actually on the top side of the, the plate. It's harder to get to. So it looks like 2021, they made it actually easier for us. So they put the screw at the bottom so it's easier to get to and do the replacement. But yeah, so that's so just a quick video. I just wanted to show you guys that uh, while I had a quick few minutes before the rain started coming to do a Tesla video. I haven't done one in a very long time. I apologize, but we do have some Hawaii travel videos. So there's a two part series, uh, one for the first week we were in Oahu and then one for the week that we were in Molokai. So check those out. They're pretty cool videos. We did a lot of stuff. So you get to see us and join us on that adventure, but yeah. I'll do a couple more Tesla videos coming up uh, soon. I got a few things in mind that I want to do. And uh, yeah, so stay tuned. Please subscribe. Everybody that has subscribed, thank you very much. Uh, send us a like and let's get this channel growing. So uh, thanks a lot, guys. So see you next time. Take care.